you've got your PhD interview coming up and you're panicking. <coughs> what are they going to ask me? Well, fear not. I'm going to give you today seven questions that you are almost guaranteed to have at your PhD interview. And I'm going to tell you some model answers as well. If you are new to this channel, my name is Dr. Hayley Stainton. I have done my PhD, I have supervised PhDs, and now I am here on YouTube to help you with your PhD. If you are interested in all things PhD, academia, study skills, etc., then please do subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the like button on this video too. You're all prepared. You've done the application form. You've maybe written a proposal. What now? You get that email saying that you are invited for interview. Yes, winning so far. But <laughs> you need to master that interview. You need to get it. Come on, we can do this. One of the things I would recommend you do is practice. So I'm going to run through with you now some questions that you are very likely to be asked as part of your interview process. I recommend that you practice some answers for these questions and don't just do it once, do it two or three times and get someone else involved too. Get your nan or your mum or your best mate. Get them to ask you the questions. Get dressed up, why not? Do a role play. <laughs> All of these things can really help. It can help with your confidence and it can help with you knowing what to say and having some, some well thought out answers. So without further ado, let's get to it. What are the questions that you are probably going to be asked at your PhD interview? Now, the first question that you are probably going to be asked at your PhD interview is, why do you want to do a PhD? Now, some people are actually quite taken back by this question. They think, oh, blimey, isn't it obvious I want to do it? Didn't I write that already in my application form? Now, despite the fact that you may well have answered this question already, you are likely to be asked it again. The reason for this is because sometimes the people on the interview panel want to hear you say it. Also, the people on the interview panel may not have read your application at all. It may have been the admin department or the recruitment department. So you wanna give this question your all. And I recommend that you take two different angles to answering this question. One, talking about the topic that you are doing the PhD in. So demonstrate your interest, why you are passionate on that subject, on that topic. And two, demonstrate your motivations and your interest in pursuing doctoral study. So why do you want to do a doctorate? Why do you want to do PhD? Is it part of your long-term career plan? Is it because you want to be more intellectually stimulated? For some people, their reason for doing a PhD is because they don't really know what else to do. They've gone through the education system, they've been to school, been to college, done their undergraduate, done their masters, and the natural next step is PhD. If that is the case, don't say that as your answer. <laughs> you need to have a better reason than just, I don't know what else to do. So if you don't have an answer that comes to mind straight away, maybe give that one some thought. Another question that you are sure to get is why did you choose this university? Now, for some of you, you might be applying for a scholarship. So it might be that, the scholarship wasn't anywhere else, so that's where you're going. Again, <laughs> don't say that in your answer. You need to find a good reason why that university. So do some research about the university, read up on it. Have they won any awards? Do they have a really good reputation? Have they got a good research record in your area? Those kinds of things. Is there somebody who you think would be particularly great at supervising you. So have a think about things like that. Maybe you've studied at that university for your undergraduate or your master's. You can say that you, you like the university, you're familiar with it. That's a valid reason too. But I do recommend, if you're not that familiar with the university, you do some research and reading about that university. And you can use that to inform your answer to this question. Another question that you are very likely to get as part of your PhD interview is why should we offer this opportunity or this position to you? 
So this is your opportunity to really stand out from the crowd. You can talk about how you're super interested in the topic. You can talk about how you've published research before if you have, how you did well in your masters or how you loved your dissertation. You can talk about how you are a motivated person, a determined person, how you can self-manage, time management. You are looking forward to having that good supervisor relationship. Anything like this really is going to sound pretty good. So you need to demonstrate without being arrogant that you are better than your competitors. Another question that you are sure to get is about your strengths and your weaknesses. This could be put into two different questions. It depends how they frame it, but almost certainly your university will want to ask you, what things are you good at? What things are you not so good at? Now it's only natural that we sometimes feel a little bit embarrassed about promoting ourselves, bigging ourselves up. Some people will find it really difficult actually to say, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. If that's you, practice, you need to. If you're good at something, you need to be able to say you're good at it. This is not a time to be modest, just say, I'm good at this. More people, however, will struggle with the weaknesses part. And in an interview, this is a tricky question because you don't want to make yourself look bad. You want to get this PhD. You don't want to put them off. So one of the best ways to approach this is to say, instead of I'm not good at, you can say, I think I need work or development in this area. So for example, I would have said in my interview, statistics are not my strong point. I think I need to attend a few training courses in this area. And training courses, are a part of the PhD process. So that's absolutely fine. In fact, they will be impressed that you have thought ahead to where you might need training and development. So in advance of your interview, I strongly recommend that you jot down what things you are good at with evidence and what things you're not so good at, but how you can overcome that. And that's the key part. And that leads me on to my next question, which is about development. So many universities will ask you during your PhD interview, what are your areas of development? Or what are your developmental needs? So this again is your opportunity to say, I would like to have some extra training in statistics. I think it would be good for me to go to some PhD colloquiums and to understand different approaches to research because I haven't necessarily been exposed to everything and I think it might give me some more ideas. I think I should use Envivo, which if you're not familiar with it, is a qualitative software program. I need training on Envivo because I've heard it's great, I'm pretty sure it's the best thing for me, but I don't know how to use it yet. Not many people who are studying lower than PhD level would use a lot of these softwares. So that's a great way to demonstrate, I know I need to learn and it's appropriate that I don't know yet because it's kind of a PhD or above level thing, usually. Another question that you will probably be answered is why this topic? Why this research question? Why this hypothesis? And this is your opportunity to demonstrate your passion. Now I did a video recently on the five reasons why I think you should absolutely do a PhD. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And in that video, I do talk about how it's such a great opportunity to really express your passion. And if you're not passionate about it, you, you might be okay but you might run out of steam. You might not be motivated. So I strongly recommend that you do choose a subject that you are super interested in and you are actually passionate about it. And if you are genuinely passionate about a subject, it will come across in your answer. I want to do a PhD on say, the environmental impacts of aviation in the UK. And I'm super passionate about it because I love flying, I love traveling, I've studied aviation, undergraduate and postgraduate. I've had a part-time job in the airport. I can see that climate change is a big problem. We need to fix it. Things like this are demonstrating that you are passionate and that's really what you want. You want to show your passion, your enthusiasm. And my final question that I think you are very likely to have during your PhD interview is what next? What are you going to do after your PhD? And a lot of universities, they will also think beyond the PhD process. So they might be looking for somebody who maybe would become a member of the faculty long term. Maybe you would become a lecturer or a researcher. Maybe they are looking for somebody who will be able to contribute to their research output in their department. In that case, you want to demonstrate that you are going to build up your own research portfolio. 
Maybe you're not entirely sure yet, but if that is the case, demonstrate you've thought about it. If you're not sure yet, sit down, map it out, get a pen and paper, write down all the pathways. This is what I could do after a PhD. This is what I could do. This is what I could do. What are the good things about it? What are the bad things about it? Why would you do that? Why would you do this? And even if you haven't made up your mind, because we don't always know what's going to happen in the future, you can still answer that question adequately and you can show that you've thought about it and you've got ideas and if you're not sure yet that's okay okay so those are my seven questions and ideas on answers that i'm pretty sure you are going to get in your phd interview so good luck good luck good luck i hope you do really well and come back come back and let me know leave a comment tell me how your interview went tell me if you have any interesting questions that people should look out for love to hear them absolutely love it and if you've liked this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content just like